Hey there, friends. Arius Farke here. Atop the battlements outside of Whiterun. It's quite amazing to stand here now, looking at the tranquil surroundings, the seemingly peaceful countryside of Whiterun. But last night, just a few hours ago, this place was a scene of horrific battle as the men of the White Run Guard fought alongside us to defend the city against an ancient dragon. The same dragon that now lies there in a heap. Ah. Fortunately, we were able to use the blessings of Arke to prevent any casualties among the guards, as far as I know, though a few of them will probably have uh, quite foul-smelling beards for a while. <laughs> and of course, Uthgard here fought valiantly alongside them. However, she did so without her armor, which worried me greatly. Uthgard, wasn't that John Battleborn and uh, Olfina Greymane that were... Weren't they... Hmm... That is quite endearing, to know that despite their families feuding each other in some, well, senseless conflict, love can still bloom. Anyway, yes, um, I was quite worried when I saw Ulfgird here fighting without her armor. Because, uh, well, when she's wearing her armor, which we smithed ourselves and enchanted with pretty much every known protective ward, we're not that worried, but, well, I'd rather have her at our side and in her armor. So we have her with us now. Till further notice. Anyway, we've got to come on. As I said, dragon attacked white on itself something that was unheard of before today and to think that the people here once doubted that there were even dragons about uh, last night was an eye-opener I think though most of the people were thankfully asleep in their homes only the guard were out in force. It's really fortunate that the thing attacked at night. What if it had attacked during the market hours? I mean, well, who knows if that could actually happen. Hmm. Oh, it's time, I guess, to go to the companions and to report our success. First, let's uh, head back inside. All right. All right, let's get Lucian here. Lucian, sorry, just have a morning walk. And I kind of enjoyed it too much because it's, um, it's after lunch. Come on. Good afternoon. Yes, I know. Lead the way. I'll be right here. And Uthgur is with us. I think we'll be allowing Lydia to stay here for now. Lucia needs someone to look after her and to look after this fox. I think the child is out playing. Thankfully, we did see her finally wearing clothes. Apparently, well, according to Lydia, Lucia going uh, au naturel was her way of saying that she didn't like the color of the dress we first gave her. So we gifted her with another dress and uh, she's wearing it. All right, uh, Lydia, you stay here for now. Um, just take a break. We'll be back for you if we go on another prolonged adventure. But if it's just for all these errands for the companions, well, you, you'll thank me for not bringing you along. All right. Lucien, Lucien, come on. All right. 
right. It's well after lunch. So hopefully companions will have finished their noon meal. Unless they're one of those groups that have three hour lunches. Probably not. You know what? I only now notice that uh, Yes. Your Vasca was built from the ship that brought the. Um, who was that again? Isgramor here. Original companions of Isgramor. Well, that's from where they descended from. Alright, let's go. Uh, Usgard, stay here for now. Uh, you too, Lucian. Greetings. Wait here for now. I'll just go down and uh, report the results of our work. Sir, yes, sir. Oh. All right, then. All right, there's no one around. Is that odd? Huh. Well, I do know that they are here. At least. So you actually have lunch here. Farkas, it's you, right? Yes. Uh, Farkas. Skior says that I have the strength of Isgrimor, and my brother has his smarts. Oh, I have no doubt. You truly do look like a monumental warrior. <laughs> anyway, by the by, I've taken care of that problem in Windhelm. You seem to have a knack for this kind of thing. I'll make sure people in charge know. Thank you, thank you. Um, actually, I'm not. I'm not really looking forward to you telling too much about it. All right, fine. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So, how about someone else? We're supposed to. Hello, Ayla. Skior was looking for you earlier. He was. Why? He what? didn't say. But you'd better move fast. There's probably something I could find for you to do, but best to check with him. Um, I've heard you may actually be stronger than you look. Perhaps we can hunt together someday. I... I'd probably like that. Yes, uh, why not? Um, all right, I'll look for Skia. Uh, thank you. I'll take my leave then. <laughs> no problem. You sound very familiar. Hmm. So where is Skia? The last time I saw him... And we shouldn't go prodding about. He's still talking. That's the the one who who tested me, Vilkas, I think. He was Farkas' twin. Twin brother. Has a strange air to them. I I guess it's just uh, just being uh, a warrior here, I guess it gives you that aura of strength and uh, manliness, I guess. Or maybe they just don't bathe regularly. Hmm. It's one or the other. All right, he's not here. He's probably upstairs. Where could he be? Anyway, um, hello? Hello there. I was the newest companion until you came along. I guess that's okay. Just means I can show you the ropes. Oh, well, of course, of course. Uh, then why did you join the companions, uh, if you don't mind my asking? Are you kidding? Uh, I've wanted to be with them since I was a little girl. Hmm. Haven't you heard the stories of Kodlak and Skior fighting off the 101 Orc Berserkers? 101? Skior says it was more like 40, but he's just being modest. Oh. Where else would I want to be but here? Learning uh. from them, fighting at their sides. Alright, well... Indeed. It does seem to be a hearty bunch. 
very varied and well that's uh, that's a good reason and what does it mean to be a companion to be part of this group so much this group this family this band this is the best thing i've ever been a part of hmm the oldest fighting group in skyrim and nothing but glory from east grimoire's day to our own to be counted in that line is a bit of immortality. Even if I never see Sovngarde, I'll have that much. I'm sure you will. As long as you stay true to yourself. Huh? All right. Um, thank you. Thank you for your time. Mm -hmm. uh, Leah? Leah, is it? All right. Might as well talk to the others. All right. At least this Uthgard is able to sit down there without being accosted. Then again, I, I'd like to see the person who wants to unseat her. Hello there. Hello. I never thought they would actually let me join the companions. But now it looks like they're letting anyone in these days. Huh. Well, if that's a bit of a thinly veiled insult, I'll let it pass. So why did you join the companions, my friend? Fortune and glory, friend. Fortune and glory. Really? You can't do that on your own, I guess. Hmm. And what does it mean for you to be a companion? It means signing on for the Nord ideas of how to live your life. Honor, battle, glory, all that. Even an elf can be born with the heart of a Nord. Skior said when I joined. I think he meant it as a compliment. Huh, really? An elf with the soul of a Nord, eh? All right, um, uh, thank you. I'll be seeing you. Until next time. Yes, I do hope he wasn't actually being offensive. Um, hello there. I'm still trying to figure out why Skior let you in in the first place. Actually, it wasn't Skior who let me in, it was Codlock. Because he's the one in charge, or, well, he's the one who advises everyone. Hmm. And why did you join the Companions? So I wouldn't have to answer stupid questions from idiots. Hmm. Does that happen much? <sighs> oh. Hey. Oh, come on. And what does it mean to be a Companion for you? Just because you've been accepted here so quickly, don't Wh think I'm going to help you rise any faster. Fight well, don't be a lout, and you'll be fine. You don't need my help. Oh, I really don't think I do, but you know what? It's really... Hmm, advantageous to be nice to most people. In any case, um... Enjoy your sitting time. Until next time. I'd rather not, actually. I mean, she's not... She's not the most attractive woman, but she's... Hmm. I've had the uh, bandit woman uh, a lot more pleasant. And they were trying to kill me. Uh, Lucien. Yes, boss? Uh, what do you think? This place, uh, I know you're more of a mage than a warrior, but, uh, well... Uh, this, really right, isn't, this really isn't my place. Is, uh... Where is that skewer anyway? Let's see here. Hmm. Alright, maybe he's outside. Well, to be fair, they've run the gamut from uh, being a bit friendly to really interestingly offensive to downright hostile Skior says that I have the strength of Isgrimor and my brother has his smarts. You love saying that, don't you? Why shouldn't you have smarts as well? You know, Farkas, you should... Ah, well, well, whatever. Why did you join the Companions? Vilkas and I have been here since we were little whelps. Oh. Our father, Jürgen, raised us here. Even Vigner couldn't remember Companions younger than us. Oh, all right. And what does it mean to be a companion to someone like you? 
who has been here all his life. I've never been a smart one, but the Companions welcome anyone with the heart of a warrior. When we step into battle, we fight for our own name, and the name of the Companions. Hmm. I'm sure that you are truly a great warrior, my friend. All right, um, have a drink on me. What do you want? I'm sure you'd want some Nord meat. All right. All right, then. Uh, might as well. I think I saw Skio. Where is he now? Who are you? Tova. Hey, hey there. The latest recruit, right? Yes, yes. Is that right? Yes. Uh, so why did you join the Companions, my friend? A man of my station has many debts. I'm not much use at labor or learning, but I can throw a punch with the best of them. Hmm. The Companions let me fight for gold, and so I fight. All right. Um, it's good to have someone who knows his strengths. And what does it mean to be a companion for you? It means when I have troubles, I always have someone on my side. We have shield siblings to keep our backs as dangerous as our fronts. I think. <laughs> all right, uh, all right. Um, all right, then. I'll let you get on with whatever you're doing. You, you're not a companion, but uh, you're, I guess, one of the staff here. Hello. I'd be dead if not for Vignor. He took me in and helped me turn my life around. So, are you a companion? Uh, you're here? Oh, I'm not a companion myself. Oh. I just helped Vignor. He took me in when I was having a tough time and, well, I owe him. Vigna. All right. Um, uh, sorry for bothering you. But... Farewell, sir. Yes, yes. No, don't call me sir. I'm just a whelp. Vigna. He must be referring to Vigna Greymane. I think he's retired. I've seen him and he's more of a... Well, he's more of just a patriarch in this place. Ah, Yolid. Hey, Yolid. My poor Frally, I think Thorun's still alive, but I know better. Who? Um, alright, um... Quite the forge you've got here, I was uh, going to say. The Sky Forge? Aye, my clan fathers have worked it since the first Grey Mains came to Whiterun. Sky Forge steel is all the companions will use, for good reason. Sky Forge steel, eh? Tell me more about yourself, my friend, if you don't mind. You blind boy? I'm a blacksmith. I'm not Any half a boy. Could see that. Hmm. All right, so the blacksmith who is supposed to be the best in all of Skyrim doesn't have much to say about himself. All right, fine. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll leave you alone. A bit grouchy. Maybe it's all that hot coals. All right. He wasn't anywhere outside. That's Uthgard. Seems like this skewer is avoiding me. Maybe that's part of this little task. You have to find him. <laughs> it's you. I'm fairly sure I saw him a while ago. What are you doing that for? What? You. Uh. Alright, um, see here, they did say that I could actually stay here if I needed to, there are quite a lot of beds here, I think there are far more beds than there are people, but you know what, we have our own lodgings, we have three different residences that we can actually stay in, if need be, I don't think this is the place that I'd want to stay. And I've been in quite frugal convents. And this place, well, it is... Uh, it varies in hospitability, but... You know what? 
If I want to stay in a place that smells of feet, I'll be... Oh, um, Kodlak. Some nights I dream about the mists of Sovngarde. Hmm. And, um... Well, I'm sure that you've been here for quite a while. Why did you join the Companions? Like most of our band, I found this family after losing my own. Oh. I traveled the length and breadth of this land, learning all I could of the sword and the axe. I was just a boy, but I had the fire of a man in my heart. Hmm. Eventually, my body caught up to my spirit. My predecessor, Askar, found me in Hammerfell. I was serving as a bodyguard for some weak-necked lord out there. He brought me back here, and I realized that I was actually coming home. I worked to bring honor to this family, and to the family that I lost. For my mother, my father, and my grandfather. For all my S.H.I.E.L.D. siblings. Family and honor. That's what it means to be one of us, boy. And that's why you are the Harbinger, isn't it? Hmm. And what does it mean to be a companion uh, for us? It means living such that your S.H.I.E.L.D. siblings would proudly say they fought at your side. Glory in battle, honor in life. Deal hmm. with problems head on. Leave whispers and sneaking to the gutter rats who can't fight for themselves. <laughs> All right. Being, uh, being forward in one's dealings, being true to one's faith, being loyal to something bigger than yourself, these are things that are not alien to me, my friend. Anyway, I, I thank you for your time. All right. Very... I can see why this man is the leader here of a bunch of unruly fighters and certainly a person that you'd follow into battle All right. Taylor, hello there I've heard you may actually be stronger than you look perhaps we can hunt together someday Perhaps. Um, so, why did you join the Companions? How, or have I asked this of you? No, I've asked that. Uh, what does it mean to be a Companion? It means resting your haunches in Whiterun more than I'd care to, for one. Oh. But when it comes time to draw blood, there's no one in Skyrim I'd rather have at my back. Hmm. It means waking up every day knowing that you could die. And having to earn your life by clawing for every breath. I don't know how those cozy lords manage to drag themselves out of bed every day. Why bother if you're not living? Hmm. All right. That is a very interesting outlook. All right. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Until next time. A very fierce lady. She reminds me of someone. I... Hmm. I really can't put my finger on it. Hello, are you, you are... We Grey Maids have been feuding with the Battleborns for years. There's no more bitter enemy than an old friend. Yes, you're Vignar Greymane. Oh, so you and the Battleborns, they used to be friends. Aye, we used to be fast friends. No, it was long ago. We were two of the city's oldest and most respected clans. And we could trace our histories all the way back to East Grimoire's companions. But then Olford got rich and decided he and his kin were too good for us simple, backwards Nord folk. When the troubles began, he took the Empire side. We haven't spoken much since then. <sighs> I... I know this is something probably you wouldn't like to come from an Imperial like me, but uh, I do sympathize. This war, this civil war, it, it, it helps no one. Anyway, uh, so you're a companion, one of the most senior here, I guess. How did you come to join the companions? 
Well, when you get to be my age, you don't remember why you did much of anything. <laughs> Only that it happened. Oh, really? And what does it mean to be a companion for one such as you? My advice, don't overthink it. Fight well and the rest takes care of itself. Oh, all right. That's actually a very good way to operate. All right, thank you. I'm done talking anyway. <laughs> Out. I'm telling you, it works. Let them ring their own ears on my shield, then scoop them up off the ground. All right, they're we all, all have here. different means to glory, Stone Arm. Well done. Wait a minute. Oh, it's dinner time. All right, let's have dinner first. What weapon do you like, Harbinger? When I was young. Very interesting conversations. <clears throat> I think we're running out of wine. I favor you, swords, much like you. Hard to lift these days, but I still enjoy the heft of a good hammer. Big swords should always be little swords. Brave hearts beat lesser ones. That's the decider. Hmm. <laughs> well, does it seem to be a empty seat for us. Where's Utgard and Lucian? Oh, there they are. All right. Good that there are seats on the side. Think I can the circle someday? I work hard. Don't worry about such things. Just focus on your own honor. Bring glory to the companions. And the glory will return. I just want to make sure I'm moving up. This is not the military side. There are no ranks. But aren't the circle in charge? Don't you lead them? I guide the companions. The circle advises me. But we are all free warriors. Only our honor binds us together. Hmm. All right. Guess not everyone here knows everything. Just like me. The circle. So apparently within the companions... Skewers heard rumors of a bear the size of a mammoth in Hammerfell. We're going to seek it out. What glorious prey. Come back alive, and with stories to tell. Always. Hmm. All right. This really is an important group. This circle. Skewer. There you are. Yes, you wanted to see me. I did. Your time, it seems, has come. What? What? What do you mean? Last week, a scholar came to us. He said he knew where we could find another fragment of Wuthrad. He seemed a fool to me. If he's right, the honor of the companions demands that he seek it out. The more they train, the more... All right, so what does this have to do I with me, so. then? This is a simple errand. The time is right for it to be Control your trial. Carry yourself with honor, and you'll become a true companion. Farkas will be your shield sibling on this venture, Well, He'll answer any questions you have. Try not to disappoint, or to get him killed. No, don't worry. I, I take care of my comrades. We've only been on one job, and he's giving me this. Ooh, an initiation test. How exciting. Hmm, so you heard that, eh? Well, I guess the acoustics of this place. So, Farkas. Alright, not bad. If there's anyone here we could probably work with, it'd be Farkas. Hello there, Farkas. I hope you've readied yourself. I'm always ready. For what, I do not know. But you know what? That doesn't matter. So you're going to be my shield, brother. So I'm told. Let's see if you impress. Oh, I aim to. So... So who was this uh, scholar that he was talking about, Skior? A smart man came and told us about a blade piece. 
Skior thinks you should find it, and I'm supposed to watch you. Yes, what blade piece? Ysgrimor was the hero who started the Companions. Wuthrad was his weapon. He came from the ancient homeland and killed all the elves. But not all of them, because some of them are still here. Um, yes. Anyway, um, so why did Skior call this my trial? I want you to make sure you're honorable. If you are honorable and strong, then I can call you brother. Alright, that's good. So, we have to go to this place called Dustman's Can. Alright, I'll meet you there. Don't delay, shield brother. Alright, oh, are you heading off? Um, alright. So he's heading off. Well, alright, I guess this is supposed to be our trial. But, um... So I guess I should... I should buy all rights to go alone. All right, you know what, as much as I'd want to have you at my side, this trial, this, this um, challenge, I'm fairly sure is meant for me and me alone. So, uh, it's good. What can I do for you, friend? Um, I would have wanted you to come along, but this is apparently some kind of special for me so I guess uh, I'll be going at this alone for now all right apologies I'm heading home if you need me all right and Lucian you know what I'll, I'll have to say that you have to stay behind as well uh, you can stay at, uh, at Bree's home come on Oh, by the gods, this is a bit dark. Yes, I uh, would have wanted Utgard to come along, but... Yes, this is... This is a trial. I know that uh, it's supposed to be just for us. It's not really fair if we brought along a party of companions. Alright, uh, Lucian. Greetings. Stay here for now, all right? Uh, make yourself at home. I'll be back after the trial. I'll be right here. All right. I'll be right here. Yes. Um, all right. It's apparently a Nord ruin just within uh, White Run. Here I am thinking that I've been searching for Nordic ruins in our quest to destroy the dragon priests. There's this Nordic ruin sitting right inside the borders of White Run, right over there, relatively close, but we haven't been uh, looking into it at all. I assume this is because there's no dragon priests inside. Oh, well, oh, you're still here. Uh, so I should really clean that up. Oh, you know what? Let's might as well use candlelight. Alright. And let's have someone with us, even if nobody is with us. <laughs> Come on, Tom. Just you and me. Alright, so this dustman's cab is just outside. No, it's... Yes, it's just outside that fort. Grey Moor. We've been there before. I think we've cleared it several times. Uh, there might be bandits there, but uh, I guess I'm sure we can handle them. Uh, hey there. 
not the best place to hang around. Especially not on a sudden night like this. Is that the... No, that's the Western Watchtower. So long ago, it seems, we fought our first dragon there. Near will near. Well, I'm sure we'll be fighting a lot more of them. Okay. Why are you... Well, we don't have time to be spending... Those are really dedicated revelers in this weather, really. Right, fourth grade, huh? Let us well see if there are any bandits around. Hope we don't bite off more than we can chew. Bandits have been becoming more and more dangerous every... Oh! Oh! Hey there! Oh dear! The Legion has taken this place! Ah! That's nice! Hello there! The Legion's always looking for strong, capable warriors. If you think you've got what it takes, our headquarters are in solitude. Oh, I'm sorry, my friend, but uh, I'm already enlisted. In the army of RK. Come on. Ooh, rain stopped. Wonderful. Thank you, RK. Look at that. So many stars. Hmm. An auspicious night for our trial with the companions. It's a bit amazing that uh, we have been given this honor, even if uh, we've only just joined the Companions, then perhaps they are recognizing our level of skill. I mean, we are not a novice warrior after all, it would be kind of a waste to send us out to kill a bear in some hold somewhere. Not that, that these things are beneath us, of course. No, no, of course not. There are no small jobs. There are only small warriors. Or something of the sort. Uh, Alright, I think... I think here... Here's a place. Aha! There you are. Hello there, Farkas. We should keep moving. All right. Mm -hmm. So, this is... Dustman's Cairn, eh? Hmm. Yes, there are no dragon priests here. Fairly sure. But there's something here that's of value to the companion, so... I guess let's go. No point in prolonging the inevitable. What the hell? What? What's going on? Oh, come on. Well. Alright, I'm here, Farkas, Farkas, I'm here. Alright. First blood, eh? <laughs> Alright, you're already drenched. Alright, fine. Come on. Alright. So, Farkas. Hey there. Ooh, you clean up well. This is actually not the first time I've been in a Nordic tomb. 
So I'm a bit of an old hand at this. So just um just take it easy, I guess. Looks like someone's been digging here, and recently. Tread lightly. Digging. I don't want to disturb. Might find it odd that a priest cleric would uh, be so good at lockpicking. Something that you pick up as an adventurer, of course. Huh. Someone's been here digging. Apparently, fighting the Draugr. Leaving no bodies of their own. So whoever is ahead of us. Be careful around the burial stones. I don't want to haul you back to the Orvasker on my back. Oh, don't worry, my friend. I can take care of myself. With Arke's grace. Oh. You're too, you're too powerful to disarm. Hey, well, I should have, should have known that that would be the case. All right. Get back inside my circle of death. There's one more. Hey there. Hey, all right. <laughs> Take it out. All right, Barkus. Very good. I think that's all of them. See if they have any weapons of note. Hmm, enchanted. Alright. I'm glad that I didn't bring along Lucian or Uthgad. I mean... Because we're alone, we can really show Farkas here our skills. Or lack thereof. Ha! Ah, whatever the case may be. We should keep moving. You are a stoic one, aren't you? Alright. Alright. Hmm, more dead dog. Alright. for a way to open the bars. Hmm, that's usually... Open the bars. Blacksmith's fixer. Ooh! That's actually very useful. Alright, I found it. Ultimate healing. What the? Um. What? It's jammed. Focus. Focus. Now look what you got yourself into. 
No worries. Just sit tight. I'll find the release. Apology. Fuck us. Uh, who the hell are these people? Doesn't matter. Where's that armor? Guys. Killing will make for an excellent story. A story? None of you will be alive to tell it. What the? Marcus? By the gods. that all about it's a blessing given to some of us we could be like wild beasts fearsome are you going to make me a werewolf is that the point of all this oh no only the circle have the beast blood prove your honor to be a companion eyes oh. on the prey not the horizon we should keep moving still the trogger to worry about Still the Draugr to worry about. The party uh, some very bloodthirsty adventurers. And the fact that my friend here is a werewolf. Why do I feel that the Draugr are the least of my problems? <laughs> 